Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the comic shop. In this one, I'm making Daredevil's cow. Am I looking at the camera? So normally I know you guys typically see me printing helmets in two parts and then making that one. Now normally I do it in two pieces. As you guys know, I have a two CR-10Ss, which I can definitely do uh, all of my helmets in one shot. But typically to save time and to save wasted filament, slice them in half and then bring them together as one. I also do that for you guys as well because I know for myself, I started off with an Ender 3 Pro. So it is quite possible to make a helmet with a smaller printer, but boy, does it take a lot of parts. So just being able to show you guys how to overcome those obstacles and how to actually put a puzzle together. Um, it's another reason why I do my slices and cuts. And another reason, um, a lot of people don't 3D print. Some people watch the video just for the hell of it, just because they think 3D printing is cool. So me, myself, I'm somebody who is into TV or watching shows that actually show a process of something. So that's another reason why I do that as well for you guys. But for this one, I get to show you guys a pretty cool process now. Some plexiglass. In the video from Test It, you can actually see that that eye, to me, looks like it's plexiglass. Finding the perfect red for this. That's going to be a big thing for me on this one, is the red. There are two Daredevil color or two Daredevil masks that I was looking at. Obviously, the most recent one that this one is modeled after. But I was introduced to Daredevil in 2003 with Ben Affleck. So that red that he had on there, it's kind of a, of a maroonish. Kind of looks just like the same red that was used that I use on Magneto's helmet. So it kind of looks like this, but just a little bit different. Um, his was like a leathered mask. So trying to find like a contrast in between those two. Um, in between the smaller accents, I'm gonna keep a flat black, or all of this, I'm gonna keep like a flat matte black. I don't want any of this to like to have any shine or glow, except for the eyes. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna catch your eyes. <laughs> As you can see that palm sander helped out i just wet and dry sanded this so that's why that's still a little damp i just wanted to show you guys like with that with wet and dry sanding, like this is already kind of becoming reflective just like that gonna have to use a little bit of bondo here on the back and then here on the side of this face as well now just like i mentioned in my 3d printer maintenance video if you haven't seen that video check it out here your printer will give you small telltale signs so with me seeing this being on this right hand side as well as this being on the right hand side and it kind of like leveling or being like on the same plane or like in the same area so to say that's telling me on my right hand side i should probably level <laughs> so just a, a quick tip for you guys there as you start to see defects coming out in your print like the rest of this all came out perfect like glass but then one side had some bad layer lines and some alterations then you definitely want to check out your printer from there all right, so this is the filler stage. As I've mentioned to you guys before, there are different types of fillers that you can use. Again, Bondo is just my method of choice. Before using Bondo, I did use wood filler. I just didn't like wood filler because the amount of time that it took to dry and then sanding it just didn't work out the best for me. So I like that, that it dries quickly and it sands down easily. Along with it, Spot Putty is good as well just to get into the smaller dents. Let's do this.
Artlist.io Boom. So you see like at least some clumps just because this part or if I have like a, if you like rewind back and look at what this looked like, they were like big dents almost to the point where I was like going into the print. So I use these clumps or leave these clumps there and so pretty much just like work them in my fingers and then just work it back in wherever I see like they're like little imperfections that still need some like spot putty or some bondo. So that's just like a little quick tip. I'll add just like a little bit more in a certain space. That way when it falls off, I can use it again. We don't waste over here. <laughs> Just kidding. So you can tell like that came out beautiful the only thing that i still have to fix like i said the sanding stage is trial and error like you just keep going and keep going and keep going until you get it to where you basically want it so the whole helmet is good both sides are good it's just this little piece in the face that i just got to touch up a little bit more uh, with some more bondo and then sand that back down and then that's going to be a beauty after that, I'm going to hit it with some flat black and the other colors. Let's do it. It's all patched in. That should be the last time I have to do this. So I only had to do it twice. The first initial coat and now this, this reward. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys this as well. So once these two are patched in, it's going to go straight to the flat black. Here we go. Normally I use about 5% window tint comes in all different colors so I'm going to be using this plexiglass. Got my exacto knife now and I got some painters tape so of course I'm just going to add the painters tape into the smaller lines to keep those details black. Okay so I got two reds that I'm really hoping work. I'm going to try this one first and really try to achieve that red. It's kind of like a burgundy kind of red. Almost like it has like a little bit of violet, but let's see. I'm really hoping that the first shot of this one works. If not, then I'm going to have to try some different kind of undercoat. But before we get into any paints, i got to mask some of this detail off that's going to still stay black. i got a nice little X-Acto knife to help me out with that. I'm going to put the painter's tape down and then cut any of the axis off with this X-Acto knife. Let's get to it. All right, so we got that all taken care of now. But before I spray it, I'm going to take the plexiglass, can't forget this, put it behind the eyes and then use a Sharpie to pretty much trace the eye line out and then cut that out. And then I'm going to use some two sided tape to make sure that stays in there. Now it's the same stuff that I used on the Mr. Beast helmet to keep these accents where they are and stuck in there. And it's actually what I use to keep the LED eyes in there as well and the battery pack. <laughs> it's very sticky. It does what it needs. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's a good thing that I just got the palm sander because now I can pretty much just grind that down to the desired size. And just a quick disclaimer for you guys, whenever you're using this stuff, this is still glass. So use eye protection, use gloves when cutting, shaping, or doing anything with this. Do not, do not, do not cut this stuff barehanded and without glasses, because it may be something that you remember for a long time. So definitely put some eye protection on, go to your local Home Depot and get you some good gloves so that way you don't cut yourself or lose an eye. 
and actually become the daredevil. <laughs> Go back to the video. printed cosplay build this one isn't for me i made this for a friend uh, it's just gonna pretty much be a display prop but after seeing this color i mean i still got a lot of the spray paint left i'm tempted to make one for myself and make it wearable so stay tuned for that as always if you like this video definitely hit the like button and if this video helped you or if you learned something new from this video definitely hit the share button because you never know who else this can help or inspire and definitely, as you guys have been doing as well, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for what's coming next. As always, it's BZ Comics. I'm out. I think the plexiglass did a good job because you can't see. So you can't see through the plexiglass, so it works. Like I said, sitting on a display case, I can't wait till he gets this. He has like hot toys that's going to go with it. So if he sends me a picture of this on the display case, I'll show you guys as well. But oh my goodness, I want to make it for myself now. I'm jealous. Have you ever been jealous of something that you make up for somebody else? <laughs> I want it. Peace.